Hi there everyone, it is currently the 29th of December 2011 and we are continuing to watch Tropical Cyclone Thine here, continuing to move onshore towards the east coast of India here, likely going to be making landfall in south of Chennai here, approximately about 100 nautical miles towards the south, but the big story with the system today is its rapid intensification overnight. Looks like the wind shear off towards the north did not set in as originally forecast, and let's pull up the shear analysis here, and you can see that about 20 to 30 knots still lingering off towards north but over the center of circulation it's still between five to ten knots and that's why in the last few frames here you see the system blowing up rather quickly and let's actually look at the storm here and at a different angle you can see there is actually an eye starting to pop up in the center of the system and that's actually uh, visible on IR imagery here but let's look at the rain total imagery from the microwave satellite or excuse me, the microwave sensor here on the Medio 7 IR imagery, and you can see that there is an eye forming in the center of the circulation, but what also I want to point out here is look at all these convective bands here, specifically off, off along the western side of the system. Now, this was taken about five hours ago at 00 Zulu, but it does show these bands continuing to form up here, and this is where you're going to be seeing that heaviest amount of precipitation as this continues to push off towards the west. So, with that being said, where is this system exactly going to be going? Where is it going to be making landfall? And who's going to be getting the heaviest amount of rainfall? Well, if we go back, back to this IR imagery, uh, courtesy of actually of the Sims out here, and we overlay the track and the forecast from it being produced by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, it does continue to keep the system south of Chennai. And really, in the next several frames, you see the system gradually decrease in intensity. And that is due to the onset of vertical wind shear still being hoped that it is going to set in here. But it looks like there is going to be some storm surge right in the right front quadrant as the system continues to track off towards the west so really at this time the storm surge likely would be right in this location in here that's because you're also counting in the forward momentum of the storm and also the winds with it so if it does make landfall with winds of 70 knots you also got to count that 10 knot vertical forward momentum so about 80 knots and also all the water you got to remember as well is being pushed across this entire area here towards the shoreline so a huge fetch area down towards the south though that winds blowing away from shore so you really don't have to worry about storm surge down in that location so anybody right near the coast off in this about right in here south of Chennai and north of where the storm will be making landfall that is really the highest risk of storm surge but also remember this and this is one uh, thing that a lot of agencies tend to overlook is these outer rain bands here off towards the north now these outer rain bands have the potential of producing a tornadic activity and also down here towards the south over the northern portions of Sri Lanka and that's because some of that convective outflow interacting with the colder and drier air around the system could produce those tornadoes and definitely some severe thunderstorms as well. So something also to watch, even though you're not near the center of the circulation, you still can get some pretty severe weather out across this region. Now here's the model consensus from the uh, wind.mit.edu here, and really it does show most of the models expecting a due westerly track here, but after landfall, the all kind of split up here due to friction and other forces kind of coming into play. GFS actually expects the system to survive towards the west coast. I think that's highly unlikely given the terrain of the region, and also just the wind shear still expected to set in and drier influence being pulled in from the north. you got to remember India is currently under the northeast monsoon. That means it should be relatively dry across this region, so that being said, with the system moving on shore, it could produce some heavy precipitation in the, the region as well. But at this time, I know a lot of people in the area know about this storm, and the Indian Meteorology Department is warning on it and putting up cyclone warnings up for the coast here. But really, in the last several frames, as I showed on the IR imagery earlier, the system has intensified rapidly. So something not to take lightly. This is looking at a visible imagery here and it does show the symmetrical shape of this system right now due to the lack in vertical wind shear off towards the north that it didn't set in like we expected here so that means it did intensify once again here just showing another image of where this heavy uh, cumulimbus cloud tops are and also just the bands forming up around the system so something not to take likely by any means here if you are here along the coastline specifically anywhere here from Chennai down towards the south all the way down towards Sri Lanka actually you definitely need to keep a close eye on this system and through Throughout the day today and definitely into tonight and into tomorrow morning, stay indoors and definitely secure anything outside. You don't want any loose objects flying around. That's where a lot of actually injuries and deaths come through due to winds. It's just people leaving stuff out in the yards or laying around outside. 
So with that being said, I hope everybody continues to stay safe out there. Please keep a uh, watch on the Indian Meteorological Agency out here for any warnings, that new warnings that come up. And also, if you're being urged to evacuate or volunteer evacuation near the coastline here, please do so. You definitely don't want to take a chance with a system like this, especially with the intensification it has been seeing over the last several hours. So uh, please stay safe out there, everybody. I likely might have another update later on tonight if, uh, if I actually get us some more information on this system and if it does change in the forecast at all. So uh, please stay tuned for that and have a great day. Bye.